Drought. A drought has scorched the American Southwest. And in sunny California, where more food is grown than anywhere else in the country, the need for water has become a crisis. California is living through some of its driest years in a century. We need water! We need water! We need water! These lush lawns and fountains may give the impression that California has water to spare. But much of the state has a dry climate. A lot of people that live in the city that turn their faucet on and water their yard every other day don't even realize how bad this drought is because they don't see it. California depends on a huge network of pipes, pumps, and aqueducts. This system distributes fresh water from reservoirs, lakes, and rivers to drier parts of the state. But in a severe drought, access to this water becomes limited, and the right to water becomes a fight. We are, right now, fighting for our survival because if we don't get water next year, it, it's, you know, our future's dried up. We're gone. When people can't get enough water from above ground, they start pumping it from below. Over 30% of California's water comes from underground. Right now, the demand for wells is extremely high. Everybody needs the water. It's just trying to get to them fast enough. But if this natural resource is overused, it will dry out too. I'll tell you what, if we don't get any rain and we don't get any snowfall in the Sierras, then all the wells that we have in this whole area, including our own, will not be sufficient water to farm. We don't want to turn into the Dust Bowl here in California as it happened in Oklahoma when those people came over here and left Oklahoma because there wasn't any way for them to farm. It's not just farmers who need the water. Urban areas, industry, and those protecting the environment all have a stake in California's water supply. We really think that the state needs to get prepared, not for just now for the crisis that is upon us, but for the next 40 or 50 years. And if we have, you know, lower rainfall and precipitation, we need to be able to capture and utilize and, and transport this water in a better sense that the state can survive. Well, what our projections show is that these, in the future, we can expect droughts that will last 20, 30, 40 years most scientists agree that changes in climate will continue to disrupt the water cycle. With longer periods of drought, water management and conservation are crucial for protecting this precious resource. 